Firefighters are attacking a brush fire threatening hundreds of homes in Riverside County. This is burning southwest of Wildemar, close to huge estates and horse properties. CBS 2's Jasmine Veal is live in Marietta with a look at the firefight. Jasmine? Well, Sharon, you can see it's a race against the winds right now. It's getting breezy out here. 700 acres burned so far, 200 homes under these mandatory evacuations like the one you see right behind me being protected by these firefighters. And right above this ranch home, that line of pink fire retardant to keep the fire from burning any further down the ridge. By the morning, a massive DC-10 was dumping thousands of gallons of fire retardant on the fire that's burning through the hills and canyons of the Cleveland National Forest. The flames are inching closer to the large properties and homes in the La Cresta community of Murrieta. It came closer and closer to our house, and uh, so we have been evacuating our horses. Johnny Anderson spent the night in his truck after evacuating his wife and animals into town. He took this video of the fire yesterday afternoon and by 10:30 last night it was too close and he had to leave to my house it was 4 500 yards one after another helicopters and small planes made dozens of water and retardant drops on the fire that has now burned hundreds of acres the lee family watched the air assault from their truck they're really uh, attacking it with uh, a lot of vigor we know if the flames come up the wind comes up, then you know you have to move pretty fast. The fire started yesterday afternoon when a dirt bike rider lost control and crashed into a tree off the Los Alamos truck trail. My husband actually saw it about an hour or so after it started because he came on his dirt bike and he saw a small plume and then all of a sudden it's like boom, huge. And firefighters are rushing to get a containment line around this fire, knowing they've been lucky so far with the weather. You know, we've had so much wind the last three days that if this would have been two or three days ago, this we would have this thing would have been an inferno. Yeah, and look at this. It is getting breezier. Like I said, Jeff and Sharon, I just saw the DC-10 fly back overhead as well. This fire, 15% contained. As for that dirt bike rider who sparked the fire, he was not seriously hurt. He actually ran two miles to get help wow. when he couldn't put out the flames.